What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Joey Jr. 93, aka That White Cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93, and of course, best in the world in zombies, one of the best commentators out there. Swag. You can go on. That's it? Yeah. Damn. Alright, well, this is round one, match four, an embarrassment of a match. Five minute match, not even, I lied, it's less than five minutes. But it's between, so this is round one, match four, between Ken Shamrock versus Chris Benoit. So since this match was so short, we added another match, which is round two, match one, which is CM Punk versus Dolph Ziggler. Now, all of round one is just a regular... You know, extreme rules match. One pinfall submission, you win the match. Now round two is all Twitter three falls. And round three was... Round three slash finals... You know, was a Hell in a Cell match, which we will get later on. So, you know, as of now, you're seeing this. And... Now that I said everything... We got the raw results for June 3rd, 2013. And... You know, let them know. Because you All have right. it. Let them know. Alright. So, basically, I saw I forgot the order of the matches. So, I'm just going to look on what was the order. But, basically, overall, I guess it was an alright, you know, raw. Like, but the thing is, like, tell me how Big E, Langston, and Alberto Del Rio fought again. I know. Th that I was not surprised. Alright, so, you know, the first match of the night was the Tag Team Champions, The Shield, versus Team Hell No and Randy Orton. You know, Dean Ambrose also, you know, it wasn't a handicap match, it was a 3v3. And, you know, Daniel Bryan was going in, but he, the, the flaw was when, uh, uh, kind of, like, Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, like, sort of bumped into each other, and then... Fucking Dean Ambrose won with like a standing bulldog or some shit like that. To who? To Randy Orton. Oh my goodness. Well, w one thing, one thing. You know, the the McMahons was the first thing. They talked about Triple H's condition that they don't want him to fight Curtis Axel. Oh yeah, I was about to. I was gonna get to that at the end, but. All right, all right. Whatever. No, cause they talked. Then they talked twice. I don't oh. know. Oh, I forgot. Whatever. I I only know the first time in in uh. Stanford, Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut, you know, the headquarters where they're, you know, Mr. McMahon and Stephanie McMahon, you know, th they don't want Hunter fighting because of his condition. All right. Then it was the Usos versus the primetime players. Oh, my goodness. And the Usos thought they were nice, yo. They had face paint on. What? They thought they, they, thought they were Jeff Hardy. Oh, After my goodness. Was, was face paint. And, you know, they, they were going in, though, like, really in. Yeah, like they they isolated you know young they're young from uh, Titus O'Neil, and then they gave your son, Mr. No Days Off, Superfly Splash. Wow. Good night, bro. Well, this match is over, as you see. Ken Shamrock cheated. All right, you know the, the the next match is coming up. All right, continue. Then it was Alberto Del Rio versus Biggie Langston for the fifth time. And this time. You know, Big E was about to win, sort of, and because he was going in, you know, he was going really like like taking it to Alberto, and Alberto put him in like a cross arm breaker. Oh, but Big E kind of got out, and then Alberto Del Rio put him in a, like a weird ass roll up to win. Wow. Then it was Shameless versus Young Cody. Oh no. Cody was going in, you know, like he was going in. In, 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 in this match. And right when, you know, Cody looked like he was about to do something, he, he made a flaw. Sheamus got momentum, do dodged uh, Cody Rose Moon's fault, and hit him with the bro kick. Oh my goodness. Then it was the Greg Kali versus Fandango. No one we won for like the infinite time. And, you know, I guess Fandango tried like get away from Greg Khali and you know the Miz was trying to be there to stop him from leaving and then the Wade, Wade Barrett hit him hit the Miz with a ball hammer wow then it was the Miz versus 
Wade Barrett. Again? Yeah, and and then, uh, you know, it was a good, decent match. Wade Barrett was dominating. And then he, he hit him with Winds of Change. And then Fandango was on top of the ramp. And they let and they left uh, Barry like distracted, and then the Miz put him in the figure four leg lock. Wow! And I have then, a funny feeling. My bad. I have a funny feeling that Payback might be a triple threat for, right. for the Intercontinental Title. I have a funny feeling based on what's going on. Then it was Chris Jericho and Paul Heyman, you know, signing the contract. Oh! And Chris Jericho was talking shit and fucking with Paul Heyman the whole time. <laughs> Then it was a Diva champion, Caitlyn and the Funkadackles versus AJ Lee and the Bella Twins. Wow, and again? This was like easy ass match for Caitlyn and them because right when uh, Brie was going to tag in AJ, she, she's like, nope, sorry, and got speared. Oh. Then it was Daniel Bryan versus Ryback. Daniel Bryan was about to win actually by submission. And then, you know, magically, I guess, uh, Ryback got out, and he, he fucking slammed him through the table. And then he lost by the Q. So basically, Daniel Bryan beat Ryback, technically. Wow, that's crazy. And it was Curtis Axel versus John Cena. Again? And Kurt, and then, you know, your man, it, it was a no-DQ match. And then, you know, when Cena was about to give him the, the attitude adjustment, Ryback came out and put him, fucked him up. Put I'm, him, not I'm not surprised. Put him through the table. And then uh, Curtis Axel went back into the ring and won by count out again. Wow, I'm done. And that's it. Curtis Axel is 3-0. and Yeah. Going hard. And that's it. Nothing else. Everything. That's crazy. Did I do a good job or did I do a good job? Did a good job. I forgot about one thing. Who is Kofi Kingston uh, feuding with? Who is he feuding with? Uh. Uh yeah, uh, right back and and uh, yeah, he's feuding with right back. Yeah, I forgot. At the end of the match, uh, like. Right, 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 right when he was going to continue the onslaught, uh, Kofi Kingston and Cena came out to protect uh, Daniel Bryan. And oh, that's wow. It. And that's it. That's, that's, that's it. Well, we have the next match going on right now, but we have... Mm. Got about 27, 28 minutes left of Carnage. You know, it's, it's not my fault. The House Ninsky will say, oh, credit goes to him. It wasn't my fault that the matches are long. I, I don't know. You want to talk about anything or no? Sure, why not? All right. Uh, well, basically, you know. I'm getting my headset tomorrow. You know, I'm hype. Why, why don't we talk about headset? I know we talked about it like outside, but we have like 28 minutes anyway. All right. So I'll let you start. Cause you're a boss. All right. Um. Let's see. World at War. I had the stupid ass little Bluetooth, and because you know there was nothing else at the time that I knew of. And I thought it was whack. You know, it was, it was only $50 because, you know, it's the official Bluetooth one for PS3. And then I'm like, you know what? I got to get something better. So, you know, I looked into it online. And I'm like, Turtle Beaches. Hmm. Sounds interesting. And then, you know, a year or two later, you know, when uh, Modern Warfare 3 came out, you know, went to Best Buy. And, you know, I bought the... Turtle Beaches DPX 21s. Yeah, they go hard. Red, white, and black headset. And, you know, it's a, it's a universal headset, you know, for PS3, Xbox 360, PC, Mac, and everything. 
And I have to say, mine is fucking sexy. Cause mine is a 5.1 slash 7.1 surround sound. So technically, what that means is you can hear everything. So, you know, I thought it was cheating at first. I thought it was. But when you play multiplayer, but I found out it's not. It's actually giving you an advantage. You know, I feel it's for those players that go hard and for rookie people so they can hear shit. Because, you know, that's a big flaw in the Call of Duty fucking society, the community. You can't fucking hear anything. And you're like, hmm, why'd I go down? Why'd I die? Hmm, I don't know. I can't hear shit. So that's what happens. So, you know, zombies is the best. You, know, you can fucking hear every gun. You could hear yourself reloading. You could hear your teammates reloading. That's how good it is. Everything. Even in multiplayer, you could hear everyone reloading. You could hear fucking people shooting from a mile away. You could hear a sniper rifle from the other side of the map. You know, but obviously you have to have your headset blasted in order to hear all that perfectly. So, you know, in technicality, you know, it's an eight sideways, I'll give it, which means infinite. So that's the rating. So I hope you're ready for it. I am. If you want, you know, if you want, you could tell them, you know, which version you're getting. Well, I'm getting the upgraded version of Joey's. The PX22, same shit, you know, just slightly different, you know, slightly different, like, mic in the front of it. I guess the sound is a little better from what I read, but it's not that much better. It can't get better than what Joey has, it's just slightly a little bit better. It's a newer model, that's it. And, you know, the main reason why I'm getting it is because... You know, I'm tired of the GB people jumping down and I can't hear them. And then they kill me from the back because I didn't hear them jumping down. And that's it. That, you know, that that's a big flaw that you can't hear. And, and also, uh, like, I don't know if you do. You probably don't, but, like, all right. You know how you live in the basement? Yeah. And I, I also live in the basement where... I, and, you know how it's like really hot out now? Yeah. Like my room gets really humid. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So I need to have a humidifier that, you know, recycles the air, like cleans it out. So I don't breathe in all that humidity. So I hear that, that like noise you be hearing in the background sometimes is the humidifier going off. You know, it's not your fault. Like... I don't know, but once I get the the turtle beach, it's a rock. That's it. People are gonna be like, Charmer, how'd you get better in GBs? I don't know, you ask me. <laughs> you guys all had headsets and you still didn't do better than me? Disgrace. And that's it. Come at me, bro. I'll hear people reloading and everything. Yep. Alright. Well, we still have a lot of time. How much? Uh, like 23 minutes less now. Alright, what else? What else is there? We can tell them about how we did grief. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did two out of three falls on cell block. Um, it, what was it? Me, you, Matt, and Money Infector. We went hard. We went hard. We won the first game. Actually, we dominated the first game. Second game, we lost by fakeness. And then the third game decides it all, you know? Either we're cock lickers or we're fucking bosses. And we don't want to be cock lickers, so we won, you know? And that's it. We were, you know, in the end, we're bosses. We will always be bosses. And I have to say... PhD flopper for the fucking win. So FTFW and look at this glitch. <laughs> it is glitches for you. Oh. So I have to put down the, in the description. Skip to 14 minutes and 40 seconds, and you will see this glitch. And I'm pretty sure I restarted this match. The referee's like, Goku, Vegeta, is you? And that's it. 
I remember I was dying of laughter in this one, I remember. I, I still think the Dead Man one is a kind of better. <laughs> That's Mr. Fantastic over there. How no. long did you leave it? I don't remember. I, I think a uh, couple minutes because I thought they, <laughs> they would get out of it. Oh, I was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure I restarted the match because... Yep, here we go. Alright, I'm like, fuck! To restart the match. Nothing I can do, you know? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the match has been restarted. For real, like in Royal Rumble 2013. <laughs> this match. Yo, yep. is, that, is that your homeboy? Is that, how pissed were you when CM Punk won? And then The Rock, you know, was sitting next to the, the announcing table, broken. And McMahon comes out, no chance. And then he's like, this match has been started. I was pissed. I and, was then pissed. The, and then the rock won. Yep. I was hyped. <laughs> what about when CM Punk lost to The Undertaker? I thought Punk had it. I feel uh, that, you know, like Undertaker will always be the best in my eyes, but I felt that there was no point in him winning first of all he always wins which is <laughs> you know understandable but the, th the thing is you know the WWE would have made more money if he would have lost because people would want to know who the fuck beat the Undertaker who, you know who made him 20 and 1 you know but apparently the WWE doesn't realize and they wanted dead man to win you know it was a good match regardless of the outcome. You know, it didn't really matter who won. I think that was the match tonight, in my opinion. I don't know. You know, CM Punk gave gave Deadman everything he had. Pushed him to his limit. You know? But yeah, I think that was match of the match. Yeah, it had to be. Every other match. Well, that and Cena and Rock for like 30 minutes of carnage. But I don't know. I still like... I think it was just CM Punk better. Because, like, no offense to, like, Cena, though. Like, sometimes he's sloppy. Like, he's not, he's not, like, his moves aren't as precise as CM Punk's. Yeah, I know. Like, I guess CM Punk has better technique. And Undertaker's been doing it for I don't know how many years already. So, obviously, he has good technique, too. Yeah. And Rock, you know, he's good. But I'm not, he's not the best, like, technical wrestler, guaranteed. He's not. But he, he's the best on the mic, guaranteed. <laughs> no one better than him. The best shit talker ever. Yep. I don't, yeah. know how, I don't know how many phrases he has. He has more than us. That's I know. Not good. That's not good. <laughs> and every phrase is funny. I don't know, how, how, how do you think he came up with all those fucking phrases, yo? Like, the great one. My favorite one was, was the one where he goes into, like, fucking a tangent. He goes, like, I'm gonna check your ass and <laughs> smack <laughs> out. <laughs> take a look and take a ray at your body lane, some shit. Take a walk at Know Your Road Boulevard and check your ass right into the Smackdown Hotel. And that's it. Shit had me dying. And then he goes hard too with the eyebrow raising, fucking something, 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 something. Yeah, pie eating, you know, the list goes on. And then what else is there? There's can, the classic. Can you feel it? And then you fuck, the tongue comes out. Yep. And you're like, holy shit, that nigga has a big ass tongue. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And then he's like, ah, la, la, la. And then that's it. And then he, he when he fucks with the the the, the commentator the reporters, he's like, Do you wanna see the rock strudel? And that's it. The people's strudel. You know, it, it's always the people something. People's elbow, people's strudel, people's chance, etc. And that's it. The man the man had like infinite quotes. Yep, he goes hard. Guaranteed, if he didn't, if he didn't become the Rock, and he stayed Rocky Johnson or whatever his fucking name was, 
then he'd be he'd be trash. Guaranteed. Yep. Guaranteed. Like like no offense to his father and his grandfather, but Rock was better. Oh. What about Yeah, what about your son, Stone Cold Steve Austin? His change. Oh man. I don't know. I, I ever ever since he lost to Rock at WrestleMania. I was like, I was like Ron Simmons. Damn! You know, I was pissed. But, you know, then he started making movies. And then I'm like, damn, and, you know, he goes hard. Then, you know, he's the anonymous general manager, which was not a surprise. You know, I had a funny feeling, you know, he was going to be in charge. I think that was for like, that was like a good year or whatever it was. You know, when Michael Cole thought he was nice, he's like, oh, I just received an email from. The anonymous general manager on my iPad. Like, what the fuck? Do you think you're nice? Like, Michael Cole thought he was so nice. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still... I always like Stone Cold, one of my favorites, no matter what. Because, you know, he just... He didn't give a damn, you know, who you were. You know? If you don't believe me, you can ask Mr. McMahon. He didn't care that he was the boss. He'll give you a stunner. He doesn't care. And he was the number one bad guy, which people loved. You know, it was hilarious. He comes in the ring and everyone's cheering him, but he's really a bad guy. I love it. He's a heel. He's a heel. Like, that's it. That's how it goes. There'll never be any other man that can do that besides Stone Cold. I don't care who you are. That's it. There's only one I, Stone Cold. I know. It's true. That's it. That's it. Without, without him and Rock, there's no attitude error. Like... Without him and Rock, there's no WWE. There's nothing. And DX, though. You can't forget about DX. Can't fuck with them either. And the Birds of Destruction. Oh. And then that's it. After that, that. And the hardcore, the hardcore shit helped out a lot as well. Yeah. But like, the main match was Rock versus Stone Cold. That, that, that's, that's what saved the WWE and the feud between McMahon and Stone Cold. That's that series hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of that, you know, my favorite was when McMahon was in the hospital. I was just about to say oh, that. I knew it. it. I'm sorry, it had to come out. And and then, you know, um <laughs> You know, um I, I think Mankind came out first with the sock. Yeah, with the sock. And then McMahon's like, What the fuck? And then, you know, Stone Cold's like, Alright, nurse, I got it from here. If I, what are you hitting with a fucking pan or something like that? <laughs> and then the, the the refrigerators, you know, those things that make you come back to life. Mr. Man's like, ah, I'm done. That's it. I love that shit. What about one of my favorite uh, scenes, even though, you know, most people don't remember, was uh, when Scotty Roddy played for that name. And, and Goldust, you know, young Cody's brother. <laughs> Did the, we, we, we created the OJ OJ Simpson chase. <laughs> that shit had me dying. <laughs> that uh, this nigga fucking gold dust, yo. That nigga, <laughs> nigga acts mad gay for no reason. I don't know. What, what, what about your boy, Doink the Clown? Ah, oh, Doink the Clown. Whack. Yeah, that nigga, Funny, uh, but whack. Yo, what about your boy Vito? Um, oh my, oh man, that <laughs> guy. <laughs> Yo, man, that nigga is actually that nigga is straight up gay. I don't I know, know who was worse. I don't know who was worse, Doink or Vito. Because <laughs> Vito, Vito used to put you underneath the dress. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I had to change the channel on SmackDown. I couldn't see that. I was yeah. like, what the fuck is this? That shit was too funny. He's also whack. Yeah, that nigga's whack. Yeah, what about your boy, yo? That, that fucking Italian guy, what's his name? That was, that used to fight with Vito. Oh, Nunzio? Yeah, they... Ah, oh, that nigga goes hard back in ECW. He goes mad hard. And then... The FBI... With Chuck Palumbo. Full-blooded Italians. And then Cena took control of that team for a little bit. And that's it. That's it. That's the shield right there. If they can come back, let's go. I'm good. Uh, Alright, what about your boy? Uh, psychosis. That's super crazy. Oh, man. Yo, they went mad hard. 
Yeah, they go mad hard though. Hey, man, so for you. Yep. Oh, kick out at one. Yeah, we have about 11 minutes, 11, 12 minutes. Uh, what about? Hmm. Let me see who else who was nice. That that no one. Yeah, you remember that that Indian? Indian. Ah. Uh, Tatanka, what his name is. Oh, Tatanka. Yeah, that man. Yeah, yeah, well, he went hard back then. W when he came back, in like oh four, whatever, back to SmackDown, he was whacked though. He was ass. <laughs> what the hell? So, oh, that's I, it. you know, I was thinking, you know, for these long ass videos, well, CM Punk right here with the comeback. Or I thought he was, but um, I wanted to start doing topics, like you know, like what we used to do. Instead of me talking about the match, I think that that gets boring after a while. Oh, come back. You know, I was thinking. So the topic right now is wrestlers, I guess. Yeah. So. You know who else was whack, but was funny at the same time? That French guy, Rene Dupree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dupree yeah. driver. Oh, I used to spam that move back in Day of Reckoning. Two, I think it was. Oh, you can spam that shit like four or five times. Damn. I'm, I'm not. What about your boy yeah, right here? What's that nigga's name? Or, or names. The Basham Brothers. Ah, uh, Danny and Doug. Yeah. Fucking JV on boyfriends. <laughs> yo, yo, those, those had to be his boyfriends, yo. They helped him in everything. Yeah, it, it was like Kurt, Kurt Hawkins and Jack White, right? Oh, Fred. Yep, those were Fred. Yeah, those, those were the, the Boston awesome Brothers and Pastors. Yep, yeah, there were a lot of Shield Shield members. Yep. That's a lot. What else? Did, you know, what, the, what happened? Your boy, Joey Murphy. No oh, Joey broke Murphy. Him, I, never li I never liked him. Eminem, I, I thought they were all right. You know, Johnny Nitro, yeah, a.k.a. Yeah. John Morrison. Yeah, but you can't lie. The snapshot. That was a good so. fucking, that was a good finisher. Tag team finisher. Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, what, what about the Mexicans? Chavo Guerrero and Eddie Guerrero. Los Guerreros. Yeah, they go hard. I don't know, I, I really like Chavo Girl. I like Rey Mysterio and Eddie Girl better. Oh, definitely. Rey Mysterio and Eddie Girl were fucking bosses. Yeah, I didn't like Chavo either. I only like um, the funny scenes that they had. Yeah, Chavo's a bum. <laughs> yeah, what, what about your boy, uh, Vizera slash Big Daddy V? Oh, um, man. Whack. <laughs> But, but but what was funny was that monsters ball back in ECW in like 07, 08. Yeah, it was Kane, Kane uh, Great Khali, Mark Henry, and Big Daddy V. Damn, that was a match. That was a match right there. A good 15, 20 minute match. I think it was a fatal four way battle royal. Yeah. The ECW. Um, I'm not sure if it was for the title, but it was just a monsters ball. Cause you know it was around Halloween time. Yeah. Yeah, what about Perry Saturn? Or no, or even better, Crash Holly. Yeah, that's, that was my nigga, yo. Crash I li I liked him when he when he's always with Hardcore Holly, cause they go hard. I liked him when he he had the t uh, the Hardcore title twenty four seven, and everybody was chasing him. Nigga was going everywhere. And then what about you remember Steve Blackman? Uh, who was that again? He had like black pants, always cat. He he was like the fake Sandman, always had the candlestick. Um, I'm I'm not sure. And then he then uh when uh what's his name Shane McMahon was climbing the stage, on uh, SummerSlam, and then he hit him in the back like three times. And Shane McMahon fell off the SummerSlam stage. Oh, and that, that guy. Yeah. And he fought, uh, what's his name? He fought, damn, what was the name? Of he was at Ken Shamrock in that little fucking, like, ring shit. Like, it, was, it was like an octagon, sort of, in SummerSlam. Um. They called him, I don't they remember. Called him, they called him the lethal weapon. Who? Steve Blackman. Oh. Uh. 
Okay, you don't remember my song? <laughs> yeah, I, I, what about... I know, I know this is one of your favorites, Rob Van Dam. Ah! Uh, another fame master? Damn. Uh, yeah, fucking him. Fucking him and Cena, One Night Stand. 2006 for a WWE title. And Rob Van Dam was ECW champion, the current ECW champion at the time. And then, that's it, you know. At the time, F you, you know, Five Star Frog Splash and all that shit. You know, obviously ECW rules, so, you know, extreme rules. Well, sleep a hole, CM Punk tapped. I think, yep, Ziggler gets the first fall. And, um, I remember that fucking motorcycle guy. I'm like, who the fuck is this bum? And then he spears Cena. I'm like, no, this can't be who I think it is. And he takes off the helmet and it's Edge. I'm like, damn. And then what was funny when Rob Van Dam found out, he did the five star frog splash. And he uh he pinned Cena, became the new WWE champion. And then everyone in ECW roster was given Edge head. I don't know if you remember that. I hope you do. Yeah. They're like, Edge, 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 like giving him head even the fans. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah, well Edge was Edge, Edge went hard, yo. He did. What about when he did uh the next, I think it was like the next Monday night or a couple of Monday nights, it was Edge, Cena, and Rob and Bam in the Triple Threat. Oh, yeah. And I think Edge won. I think so. And then they did Rob and Bam dirty again, and Big Show fucking won the title. I was pissed. Oh, yeah, that, that was stupid. And then Rob and Bam was like, you know what, I'm out. Peace. Went to TNA. Yeah, but he had a little rivalry with Edge for a while. CM Punk with, with a fall of his own over there, a cheap pin. So we're tied 1 1. And we have about 4 or 5 minutes left. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know you remember this match. You know, it, it just came up because we're talking about ECW. Back in 06, December of 06, the ECW Extreme Rules Elimination Chamber. When my son Bobby Lashley won the title. Oh, I hope you remember that match. That match was good. Yeah. Big Show was the current champion. Yo, that match went hard, yo. You if you when you come out, you get the you get the this is an illegal tactic. You get to pick the pod with the weapon you want. Yeah, that was dirty. Oh yeah. man. And then if we're talking about Bobby Lashley. Remember the steel cage match you I had with Umaga? I knew it already. I'm sorry, it had to come out. Umaga got... Oh, Umaga was outside the cage. And Bobby Lashley fucking spears. Good night. Damn. I'm like, yo, Lashley. You're guaranteed steroids, though. Guaranteed. I know. Hey, I hate to say it. You know, like, not to be racist, but that that's the black Brock Lesnar. <laughs> like, Brock... If Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley formed a team, the Bees, whatever the fuck they're going to be called... Yo, dominant. I'm pretty sure they can have every title. What about right back and Brock Lesnar in real life? In real life, it's over, right? They have every title. That's it. I don't care. Yeah. But but it has to be Brock Lesnar back in 02. It cannot be this one. It's surgery. It cannot. It has to be Lesnar with, at his prime. With, with the steroids. Yeah, with the steroids. As they could be champion. That's it. Then it's a wrap. I don't know about Kurt Angle and Jack Swagger. Kurt Angle is one of my favorites because, you know, like how he just fought, you know, the wrestling machine and everything. You know, won the Olympics in 1996 when I was three years old. And, you know, he goes hard. And Jack Swagger is the son because he has the Patriot Lock, a.k.a. Ankle Lock or Angle Lock. So, you know, he has to show his father that, you know, they want to be a team. Yeah, what about, yeah, what if Chris Benoit was still alive? You know how much head Daniel Bryan would give him? He already gives him head. He does, because that's father and son. There's a lot of father and sons. Like, like Billy Gunn and Dolph Ziggler, father and son right there. I don't care. Fame master, blonde hair, come on. Ridiculous. So many father and sons. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. And the condo. Vice locked in. Uh-oh. 
What do you think of this match? I'm thinking it went in. And it went in hard in this match. Like a 30 minute match. And Ziggler gets up like it's nothing. Damn. Alright, we have about less than two minutes. Damn. Any other wrestlers real quick or Oh, it's Fame Master again. It's yeah. over. Match is coming to an end. That's it. Ziggler with the second and final fall for him. And that is it. So the first match, here is your winner, Ken Shamrock. Even though that was, you know, I didn't like that match. That was the most failed match in my copy of WB13, but whatever, it happens. And in this match, here's your winner to show off over here. Dolph Ziggler over here. This nigga goes hard. You don't fuck with Ziggler. Definitely Superstar be a candidate, guaranteed. And this video is coming to an end. So this is Joey Jr. 93, aka that white cracker 93, aka Zombie Boss 93. Well, actually, uh, I said it wrong. Whatever. All right. We went there for like 69. We hope you guys liked the video. I was supposed to say AK, you know it already, but whatever. And show off. And it's perfect for Ziggler. One more time for Ziggler. Show. Oh.